Hello, this is Early at High Fi Town. Um, the other day I was asked by a, um, a, a, a low power tube audiophile uh, who was uh, attempting to assemble a uh, DIY open baffle setup for his, uh, that could act as a companion with his uh, high efficiency Lowther full range drivers. I was asked by him uh, if I had any uh, potentially usable Wolfers that could be powered by his single-ended amplifier. And um, uh, that's a real rarity uh, to find a true Wolfer that's, that's from the 50s or 60s, a vintage uh, era. Wolfer is very tough to find. Uh, you rarely ever see them. And uh, I just happened to have a couple in the shop that I offered him. And uh, I wanted to share these and the test results I got with them. Uh, because I do think this type of speaker is very appropriate uh, for open baffle uses for those looking to reproduce only low frequencies and to not creep into the delicate mid-range that so many uh, high-efficiency 8-inch drivers have. Uh, but these would also be good for uh, a two-way and a three-way system. And these were constructed by Rolla in the 1950s. And uh, the first thing you'll notice is a very large, uh, powerful... Alnico magnet, uh, and uh, the, you know that 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 tells you right then that these are no newer than the early 1960s. They did measure out to be a nominal eight ohms, which is unusual. But given where they were used, uh, these were typically speakers like this would have only been constructed to reproduce very low frequencies that would have been found in uh, you know pipe organs or other types of tone cabinet uh, reproduction scenarios. They weren't used in hi-fi yet. And, uh, and, and so uh, when I flip these over, you'll notice uh, what makes these really a great consideration for two body of files is the fact that they're all paper. They're a low excursion cone, so um, they're fast and, uh, you know, suitable for an open baffle. Um, to cut out any low frequency uh, uh, reproduction from the center dust cap, which, you know, typically in a 15 inch Jensen, you're going to have a lot of high frequencies radiating from the center dust cap. On these, they, they did a treatment uh, out of uh, some kind of linen, uh, and it's a heavy, it's heavy and it's covering the center of the dust cap. There's not much venting going on. And uh, these are straight-sided cones, and they're just, they're just really intended to reproduce low frequencies and have a low resonance, and that's what's really unusual for speakers of this era. These are from about 1959, as far as I can tell. And uh, they have linen spiders, straight-sided cones, which is a feature of some wolfers, uh, very rigid. And OQ, is, I was really surprised that the the Q was so low on these. These these both were around 0.5, and the QTS, and uh, the uh, so so these would actually probably work pretty well in a sealed cabinet or a ported cabinet even. Um, but but i think they're going to be really well suited for open baffle they are nominal eight ohms uh, my customer wanted 16 ohms but i still think that uh with a crossover or maybe even as they are i think he may actually have really great results with them here we can notice that they have a high peak uh they've got really powerful magnets so with the uh relatively low q they're going to really uh they're going to really have a nice strong resonance point which is uh, free air on these two where it was about uh, 40 cycles so that's also very very low for a vintage set probably the only thing I have around like it so just wanted to show these off and uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of them now so no tricks here um, the tests that you see have been conducted with uh, this very small about 3 watt per channel single ended 6PQ5 amplifier and these tests will be conducted free air, in other words, on a bench, because uh, there's no way to predict how the, uh, the wolfer or driver will be used in its uh, final place, so it could be used in the cabinet or open baffle. So. Here's a sweep uh, starting at around its resonant point, uh, all the way up to uh, voice range and above, so that you can get... as you get to the high frequencies it's not doing much at all. 
So we'll now be conducting a very brief test. Uh, this is just something I threw together to demonstrate how you might use these woofers. Um, the uh, the mid the mid range driver in this case is just a uh, very poor condition, um, but decent sounding uh, vintage full range eight inch driver, and uh, I put it together with this uh, with the Rolla woofer too, briefly, and the crossover point is I think around 800 cycles give or take. So,